In this video, I will show you how to install and how to use Super Putty on Windows PC or laptop. Super Putty is a Windows Putty alternative that aims to make a better version of Putty. However, it requires Putty to run. In other words, Super Putty makes existing Putty install better. It allows tabbed sessions as well as SCP file transfers between remote and local system. In the previous video, I showed you how to install and how to use Putty. Make sure you have it installed first. You can check the link on the description below. I also showed you how to save sessions. We are going to install Super Putty and import these Putty sessions. Let's proceed. Open your web browser and go to puttygen.com. Under useful software select Super Putty. Scroll down. You can see the .zip is the portable application, means no installation needed. We are going to install the application so we are going to choose .msi which is the second option. Click on it to download. Wait for it to download the executable file. Now, let's check the downloaded file. Double click on it to install. Click on next. You must accept the license agreement then click next. We don't need to change the default installation folder so click next. Click install to proceed. Wait for it to install the application. Completed the Super Putty setup wizard. We will launch Super Putty so check launch Super Putty then click finish. The Super Putty options window will open. We need to enter the path to the putty.exe location. Right click on the putty shortcut, properties. You can copy the target address and paste it on the putty.exe location. Or you can click browse and locate it manually. Go to C drive. Program files. Search for putty folder. Click on putty then click open. You can leave the remaining options blank. Now, click OK. The Super Putty has been successfully installed. Next is we will import the Putty sessions. This is very useful especially if you have bunch of sessions saved on your Putty. Notice that we don't have any sessions saved yet. Now, go to File. Under Import Sessions, choose from Putty Settings. You will be asked if you want to copy all sessions from Putty, click yes to proceed. Now, double click on the Putty sessions. You can see we have new folder named imported from Putty. Click on it to expand and you can see the session saved from Putty. We can test by opening one of the sessions. You can see that we have successfully imported the sessions. You can open multiple sessions in one window, unlike Putty, you need to open different window to open different sessions. You can switch session by clicking and dragging it where you want. To close the session, choose the session you want to close then click on the X sign. To add a new session, first you will select the protocol. Next is enter the host or remote IP address. Next is the username and password. Click connect or check sign to connect to the device. Enter your username and password again. Lastly, if you want to create desktop shortcut, go to search, type Super Putty. Right click on the Super Putty app. Choose open file location. Right click on Super Putty, under send to choose desktop create shortcut notice the shortcut icon created on desktop well that's all for today's demonstration and i really hope you like this video if you are new to my channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials thank you and see you in the next video